Hi guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this particular tutorial, we're going to learn about the pivot and unpivot feature in Power BI. Now, what? How can this feature help you in Power BI? So let's get started with this tutorial. So in the sample data set that I have here, one thing that you will notice here is that I have three different columns which hold the sales value of three different categories that is consumer, corporate and home office. So wherever there's sale for consumer, that column is populated. So in this case, uh, this is the corporate uh, sales that has happened. So the value is seen in the corporate field. Now, how can we bring all the values into one single column and these into another column to define which is consumer, corporate and or home office, right? So this is what we will be going to learn today. So let's jump onto Power BI now. So I have imported the same Excel sheet which I showed you just now into the BI and you will see that we have we are seeing these three columns here. So our goal is to have one column for the value uh, field and another column to show us the details whether it is consumer, corporate or home office. So the first thing that you need to do is once you have imported the uh, data, you need to get into the uh, Power Query editor, which you can do so by clicking on these three ellipses and click on edit query. So once you click on edit query, you will land on this particular page over here. All you have to do is you need to select the columns that you want to pivot or unpivot. So in this case, we want to unpivot this. So we will select consumer, corporate and home office and then head to the transform tab. Under transform tab, you will see there is a column here. There is an option here to select unpivot columns. So, and there's also a drop down. So it says unpivot columns, unpivot other columns, unpivot only selected columns. So basically this is self-explanatory. So when you select these three and click on unpivot other columns, the rest of the columns get unpivoted. So what happens when you click on unpivot, right? So let us click on unpivot columns now. And immediately you will see that the, your data is changed. There's a new column that is added here which has the details of consumer, corporate or home office and another column here which has value. So basically all the values there get merged into one column and gives you one single column. So you will see that we now have these two columns which are newly added and then you can, you know, right click, you can rename this to let's say category, category already exists. So yeah, so let's rename this to category new. Okay, and then you can rename this again to sales. So likewise, there is also a pivot column. So you can select this or rather these two columns and then click on pivot column. So when, when you do that, you, it will ask you use the names in the column category new to create new columns, select your values column. So here in this case, it is sales. I'm going to click on OK. The moment you do that, you will see that our values have now split in split into the three columns as per consumer corporate and home office right so that's it guys in this particular tutorial i hope this video has helped you you have learned something new today please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials